welcome back to Bump Love, more particularly to the Baby Daddy Show. Welcome, gentlemen. Yes, this is the Baby Daddy Show. <laughs> Y'all are our baby daddies. <laughs> and what are we talking about today? We will be discussing the ever elusive subject, work life balance. Welcome, gentlemen, again. I'd like to introduce you to these wonderful gentlemen. I would like to introduce you to Louis or Louis, depending on which school you went to. Louis Ovon. Um, he's a businessman, husband, and father to two amazing children. Louis is also an addictions counselor and a loctician. Hair loctician, that one, you've got it. Exactly. <laughs> and then right beside me is Joe Nuamanya. He's an architectural designer, entrepreneur, car enthusiast and a columnist. Joe is a father of two lovely children. I asked him which cars he's into. Vintage cars. <laughs> and then over on my far right is Pastor Philip Egesa. He is obviously a pastor, a father, husband, friend, and more. He is a team leader at Christ Prosperity Ministries, an ardent farmer and lover of tourism. Some of, the, some of his business prospects are in agriculture, and tour and travel under Uzima Services, a company that he co-owns with his wife. Together they have three sons. Now, have you listened to these bios? These men are doing everything. So are they balancing this thing called work and life or are they also swinging it? Now, the ladies have had the opportunity to answer this question and would like to ask you the same. Yeah, I've shared your bios, but we know that it gets a bit deeper. What are you guys juggling right now? Wow, what am I juggling? I am a businessman yeah. and I run a salon, so that's pretty hectic. You're there early in the morning by 7, 8 o'clock and you leave by sometimes 10 p.m. So yeah. really it's, it's hectic, that's, yeah. that's what I'm juggling. I do a little bit of farming here and there and I run a car group sometimes, so oh, wow. basically... Sometimes say it! <laughs> <laughs> I, run the, I run a German car group, the VW group, so basically you're in between many things yeah. all of the time. Yeah. yeah. You're also a father? I'm a father, a husband, yeah. a photographer. Yeah. I struggle to balance the, to balance the, the board or to balance work, life and, and family and parenting. It's, it's, a, it's a struggle. It is. Um, in between running a very busy architectural studio, in between doing a lot of rotary leadership, in between doing parenting, I feel like I am overwhelmed. Yeah. It's a struggle. Yeah. Um, and I would not lie and say, you know what, I have it easy. It yeah. is not easy. But I have got to set my priorities right. Uh, 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 we are coming there. We are coming there. <laughs> I've got to set my priorities right. <laughs> yeah. And so that is where the, the, that's the struggle. Yeah, that's, that's what you're juggling right now. That's what you're juggling right now. Okay. Okay. Um, pastoring. <laughs> being a husband, being a father, into a bit of farming, um, and also doing personal businesses. Yeah, basically, that's what I'm doing. Aye, but pasta, pasta, give us, give it, <laughs> because if, uh, please okay, bring uh, it all out. Yeah, yeah, I, I do pastoring of a location, but mm. also supervise other locations. Okay. We have a location in Busia, Bugiri, opening up another one soon in July. Wow. So that's part of what preoccupies me mainly yeah and then of course doing my, my farming I make sure every week yeah I drop into my farm yeah then do a, a business that we are starting uh, we have just started sorry we do uh, tour services yeah so it's part of what keeps me busy yeah you know yeah and previously until last year in November I was working with you what I oh uh, and yeah. thank you yeah <laughs> I, was, uh, I was actually working in uh, one of the busiest unit mm. the um, what we call the enforcement unit. So yeah. I do 24-7. Wow. I was a pastor, father, husband, blah, blah, blah. Everything mentioned. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And one of the things that I've realized is that if, I mean, for most of us, and I don't know if you've realized it, when, when people hear women are doing all those things, the first question they go is, how do you manage? Now I wonder, do you guys get... The pastor, maybe you do, because most pastors, that question is always asked. But, I, you know, just for the rest of us, um, do you ever get asked that question? And if you do, what's usually your answer? 
Well, I, I think I do. I do get asked this question uh, yeah. once in a once in a once in a while. Um, for context, let me put it this way: my children are between uh, five and ten, so they are young. They need a lot of attention, like anybody who has those children uh, around around there. I am also at the moment a single dad. At oh, the moment, wow. I'm a single father. Wow. So I get these questions a lot of yeah. how do you get this stuff going and. It has actually helped me see it in a different perspective of how you ladies yeah. get this stuff going now and yeah. how it is a lot how it is a lot of work. Yeah. It is a lot of work into the point that you you struggle. Yeah. There's a lot of struggle. There's a lot of struggle in there. Mm. So I don't know how many other dads are going through the same thing that I do that I am going through in terms of the context in which I've just given you. But the balance has got to be there. Yeah. The fees has got to be put on the table. The food has got to be put on the table. The attention for the children has got to be done, done. right. You have to service your clients as well, mm. whom I call clients now. Yeah. I have extracurricular activities that I want to do on my own, which I would like to do. And I yes, do to have and, fun. To have fun. Which, Manuela, I, I must admit, these days it's not, it's not <laughs> there. It's not existent. <laughs> <laughs> it is not there. I used, um, I used to enjoy my drink. Very, very mm. much enjoy my drink. Every Friday, Saturday, Pastor, forgive me. Hey, that drink would be water <laughs> that turns into yes. wine. Yeah, uh, the pastor would understand would that understand. one. Okay. So I used to enjoy my drink. Now I can't enjoy my drink because if I do check into the house late, the children don't care whether you checked in at, at 4 a.m. in the morning, at 2 a.m., at 7. At 7, they are, work, they are awake and they want your attention. Yeah. So those have got... Those are things that have now changed over over time. But thank God I had a chance to do that way, yeah. way before. Yeah. Uh, way before now. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. So your answer to this question would be I balance. Balance, balance. What balance are you what? talking about? <laughs> <laughs> what balance are you talking about? <laughs> That's true. Because even if you feel like you sort of have a balance, yes. then you feel like in another field you're lacking. Yeah. So the balance may possibly be seasonal. Yeah. The balance may possibly be that you have a routine which yeah. sort of works for you yeah. and the routine sort of keeps you going. You're in autopilot generally. Yeah, that's it. But as long as the routines are there, the children are going to school, the children have been fed, the children have been have showered, they have gone to see a doctor when they need to go and see yeah. a doctor, you have planned that. I don't think that there's something called work-life balance. Yeah. I think that it is what you're able to do at that very moment yeah. given the resources that you have. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I think if you ask me again, I would say it is a myth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just have some good days and, and sometimes some they're very bad, yeah. some very yeah. bad days. That's true. Yes. Okay, faster. Wow. <laughs> I, I, like he said, I, it's, it's not as obvious as it may want to sound, but um, at, at some point actually I was losing, my, especially my kids. Um, Pastor's kids, we call them. Exactly, PKs, the yes. Uh, one time I came back home, it was about 5.30 in the evening, and my last born was like, Dad, are you going away? Oh, wow. I'm like, ah, he's actually that scared. He's so insecure that he can't be sure about my presence. Yeah. So I, I had to really, really think through. And uh, so what, what I'm, I'm, how I try to balance uh, is... There are three things. There's what I call family on mission. Mm. Family on, on mission is I make sure that whatever I do now, my boys have to be able to understand. They must buy into it, mm. including my wife, of course. Mm. They must be able to feel like they're part of what I'm doing. And mm. especially church, you know, most of the kids get it. I mean, we, most pastors go wrong on that place. They yeah. feel like church must come first. And come first yeah. So I... Family on mission is about just trying to make sure that the family or your kids are part of what you're doing. Yeah. They understand. Yeah. Then two, I, I, I try to make sure I put what we call a predictable patterns. Oh, that's nice. Routine. Routine, you know. They should be able to know that Monday evening at 5 p.m., dad is home. Yeah. Yeah. They should be able to know every Friday they know I have to pick them from school. Yeah. Whether I have what, I have to pick them. Yeah. That, that's that place. Yeah. And if I will not be able to, like he said, sometimes you, you miss it. I communicate. Yeah. I, I, I say, you know what, guys, this Friday I'm not around. Yeah. So they know, yeah. but they know that there's that, that, that flow, there's that sequence, there's that consistency. Yeah. Uh, Monday's hours, Friday's hours, Sunday evening we joke, we play with the dad and stuff like that. So predictable patterns and also having the family to be part of what I do. Yeah. Once in a while during holidays, I take them to the farm. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. They, yeah. they know that that is our being farm. To be in the post, exactly. Being in what you're doing. So to me, that's how I've been able to try to. It's not easy. It's not a hundred percent perfect, but I try. Okay. Yeah. You, do you ever get asked that question? <laughs> <laughs> uh, a lot, actually, a oh, lot. Really? Because I mean, people ask you. You run a salon. How? When do you get time for your family? Yeah. yeah that's but true. this reminded me of a friend who told me once that when you start something, make sure you can take it till the end. Now, I purpose from the beginning to be there for my children, to be there for my family. Uh, when my children were being born, I was in the theater with them, for, for both of them. They're now 12 and 14. And there are things I never delegated. I never delegated bathing them to anyone else. That was my responsibility wow. from the beginning. I, was the, I showered my kids first. I, changed, I was the first to change their nappies before their mothers because she was wow. in hospital. So those are things that I, 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 I grew up doing. Yeah. So I purpose that my children have to have a special space and time in my life. So there are things like I, I will not delegate taking kids to school to somebody else. I have taken my children from nursery to now. Every morning I'll wake up, wake them up, make sure they shower, make sure they have breakfast and take them to school. That is my responsibility. Mm -hmm. Then I allocated time. Like on a Sunday, I will not do anything without my family on a Sunday. That's wow. why even yes, coming even here today here, I came with my daughter with us, because yes. I was like, <laughs> I'm not going to leave these guys behind. So sometimes it's, it's about purposing to do something and being intentional about it. Mm. The things you cannot, you, you cannot say, I don't have, I mean, I don't have, you, you cannot say I don't have time for my family because yeah. what, what legacy are you going to leave behind if you cannot leave your family yeah. behind? Something mm. like that. Personally, I feel it's about priorities. It's priorities and setting aside time. I, in my businesses, I work on appointment. Yeah. Oh. So I have an appointment for everybody in that I also have an appointment for my family. Yeah. I have oh. an, an early morning appointment for, oh, for my for kids. Children? Then most times if I go back late, my daughter will probably wait for me because my son is in boarding school. Yeah. But he'll, she'll go to bed knowing I'm going to come back. Yeah. Then in the morning she'll wake up knowing I'm going, to, I'm going to have that time with daddy when I take her to school. Wow. On Sunday I will not do anything from shopping to whatever I'm supposed to do on a Sunday. My daughter or my son have to be with me. If you invite me for anything, just know I'm coming with my family. Yeah. Or at least with my son and my daughter because yeah. that is their day. And they know it. Sometimes people call me, oh, can you, can you work on me on a Sunday? And I like talk to my kids. Yeah. Then my kids will say that daddy doesn't work on Sunday that unless is. you're coming, unless you are going with, with, with him to work. Yeah. So you have to set aside and prioritize time for, for, for situations like that. Yeah. I, have, I have never shied away from doing anything with my children. I, I used to go with them to work when they were younger. Yeah. And, and you teach them to know that these are boundaries. That is at work. I'm not going to disturb him, but I can be with him. I remember one time in one day, my father-in-law said, you know people are going to think they bewitched you. And I was like, why? Because you're carrying the children and your wife is walking. <laughs> So, but, but you see, yeah. it's about priority and yeah. doing things purposefully yeah. and intentionally. I love that with, you know, you've kind of talked about the wife because right now I want to say that, you know, when we discuss this topic, we women were feeling like, oh my God, we can't, we can't juggle. Which, what do you mean juggling? All we see is balls, but there's no juggling any balls yeah. here. Mm. And yet for you men to hear this conversation, I'm in shock. Because you guys, uh, you just come out of your offices, like come out of the salon looking like everything has been put together and we are the ones fighting yeah. anxiety and depression because we can't handle all of these balls. So how are you guys able to do this one thing, you know? At the top, you're looking like you got everything put together, but under the water, they, they <laughs> you I, know, I, you're... I've, I've, I've had that story of the duck and underwater. Yeah. Yeah. Therefore, you know, you see it sailing, but under, under, under the water. Yeah, and it's and paddling, it's paddling, yes. And things, are, yeah. and things are happening. How do you guys and, do and that? I don't think that we don't suffer anxiety or depression. Oh, or really? You're not in the right headspace. We suffer all these, we suffer all these things. I don't know as many if we even have places we can go to and tell people this is what I'm going through. But you normally have a friend or two who knows if they haven't seen you in the normal or you haven't texted or you think they know something is wrong. But they hope, they really do hope that you will pull out of it uh, by, your, by, your, by yourself. By yourself.
So it's not that we go out and then you know you have to speak about this stuff. But like Louis has has has, has mentioned, um, you prioritize your things, mm. and you know that for me, for me, if you ask anybody who really really knows me, it is God, family, design, then Rotary. Wow. In that particular order, nothing. So if it is time for me to be with family, I will be with family. If it's time to be in the presence of God, I will be in the presence of God. If it's time for me, and those are the four things that actually take over. In the last decade, that's, those are the four things that have taken over my life. Yeah. Anything, God, family, God, design, God rotary. rotary. Anything out of those, I have no business in that area. Yeah, yeah? yeah. I have no business in that area. So I try and balance those four things as, yeah, as, as I go. Things. Or whatever it is I'm doing during the day, it is under those four. Either I'm at work at the studio, or I have, we have this Bible study, or I'm hosting Bible study along those lines, or it's the children and we need to take them to school and I need to read them a bedtime story. My phone goes off at exactly 8 p.m. It goes into airplane mode every single day. Love it. Meaning you can't call me after 8 and say, you know, we have a job for you. That job will have to wait till tomorrow. Till tomorrow morning. Till tomorrow morning. Yep, it will I have love to wait it. till tomorrow morning. Love it. Between that point and the rest of the night, it is just me and my children, and that is what it's going. That is what it's, it's going, going to be. be. And so generally, those those are the things. So it's routine. It is prior, uh, having priorities on what you want to do, and a lot of discipline. Yeah, Dis I was of, hoping <laughs> we could hear that word. I, and discipline. a lot of discipline because you you are an old man. You have the independence. You have the liberty. You you have the resources. The only thing, by the way, now yeah, you don't have is time. Time, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. The only, the only thing that's yeah, you so don't true. have is time. Mm. But then the discipline has got to be there. Yeah. So yeah, those, that's, that's, that's how I'm managing. That's how, but yeah. even then when I say I'm managing, I am not managing. Managing, I am yeah, managing, managing to man allow to manage. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise it's bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I think I just want to agree with him. It's an issue of priority. Just putting things in order. God, church, me, church, family, blah, 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 down. So that, that's, that's enough. I, I, and as long as I can be able to be disciplined enough for that schedule, that priority list, mm. I you can come manage. off looking yeah, like, yeah. you got this. Yes. Same way, yeah. If someone says I keep fought, I don't. It's, I mean, it's, 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 it's hard. Let me tell you guys, yeah. it's hard. You know, you, we, we have the semblance of peace, but yeah. a lot of things are taking place. Yeah. A lot of things are yeah. taking place. I have a witness, my phone. You go home, you leave work, you come home, and you're on WhatsApp. Yeah. And you have to be very decisive. Something I'm failing to do. Because it's not easy. You, yeah. you, I mean, people say, oh, you look like we've got it. We, we do. But you, you do you, look you, like you've you, got But this. we don't. And, and, yeah. and, and, and we I like don't. why you're putting this, because out there, out there, everybody thinks, you know what, That's he's, he's, what he's, he's, he's cut it in place. Oh, he's always there for his children. But internally, you don't feel like that at any one point. You're wow. not feeling like that. You feel like, you know what, the world is really a roller coaster. Wow. But how do I balance this thing? And then in the morning, you have to wake up and do the same thing, and then do the same thing again. Do the same. By the time the week has ended, you are exhausted. exhausted. And I hear these women say it most of the time. You know yes, what, exactly. what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> My daughter came the other day and said, Oh, daddy, we play we play Scrabble. When did I last play Scrabble? But I have to play Scrabble with a with a little girl. Yeah. And you you're for, you're remembering the rules, your head is you're you're tired, your phone is here buzzing, oh I need an appointment for tomorrow. And then so, ask the wife we need help. So you also so take you're, the rubbish you're thinking, outside after. <sighs> guess what guys you see, this conversation is still going forth when we come back we're going to delve even a little bit deeper into this topic on work-life balance stay tuned until next time with love from bump love